BBC One. You can watch 24 hours in A&E because it's on Channel 4 tomorrow night at 9 o'clock. Our next guest was a pioneer of electronic music back in the 70s and 80s and he hasn't stopped experimenting ever since. To prove it, Gary Newman is showing fans his best work in a new DVD release. He's also starting a new UK tour next week during which he'll perform his 600th gig. We're going to talk to Gary in just a moment. Let's look back at some of those hits. And here he is, very good morning. Good morning to you too. Bleary eyed, not because you've got your lovely <laughs> eye makeup on, which we love, oh. but because you were awarding Six Music, their Sony Gold Award last night. Uh, one of them, I, I did the one for multimedia and, and social school. They got two or three awards, I think. So yeah, I was in London last night and drove here, got here about five this morning. So you a big fan of better. Six Music? Pardon? You a big fan of Six Music? Massively, yeah. When they were going to get closed down, I was going out doing interviews to try to keep it. They've been good to me, very good to me, and I, and I felt really strongly that it was a, a station that should be here. And presumably the kind of music you do, which people are familiar with now, but when you first started doing it, it was seen as quite experimental. I mean, I know it still is to a degree. So getting played maybe was a bit difficult. Yeah, I was number one for two weeks, I think, before I got playlisted. So yeah, quite really... Um, you, were not, you were already number one for two weeks? Yeah, before... Really and people were ignoring you? Well, well, the radio was. Really? For a while, yeah, the people obviously had bought it because it was number one. So, so what was going on there? Just because they didn't, they didn't know the sound, or didn't it didn't correspond with what they? I'm not sure, really. I think there was a certain amount of hostility to electronic music when it first came along. People didn't think it was real music; they thought machines did it. There's a lot of ignorance, to be honest. Um, but that went away with time. But initially, the, the uh, musicians' union tried to ban me for the first year or two. Because you were taking people's jobs away? Yeah, they said I was putting real musicians out of work. How insulting is that? <laughs> Unbelievable, yeah. My union. Yeah. Um, well, um, um, uh, on that theme, were you... Are, are you musical? I mean, when you were a child, did you play... Were you a keyboard player? Did you do the piano? Uh, n not really, no. Uh, I'm not a, a great musician, never have been. But I can... I'm good with noises and sounds, and I can write in. I can play well enough to write. So songs, if I were to place but you, I'm not a virtuoso player by any means. If I were to place you in front of a conventional piano, would you you'd be able to play? Would you? A bit. You know, okay. I could write a tune on it. Right. But that's probably. If you said to me, play like a G augmented, whatever, not a clue. Isn't that interesting? But I could sit down and play and stumble forward and, and then sort of ten minutes later I'd have a little song for you to listen to. Yeah, and you've produced great music with those skills. Yeah, I've done all right. Over the years, <laughs> you yeah. have, haven't you? Now, I know that you've, up until now, been kind of resistant to playing your classics, Cars and Friends Electric. And I don't like doing too much old stuff, no, normally. Be and that is because you don't want to be a retro artist. You want to be a current artist. It's a mixture of that, and it's a mixture of that the thing that you're excited about and passionate when you make music is, is new stuff going into the studio to write something new and come up with sounds that people haven't heard before is the, the fun of it, is the thrill of it. So to then spend, to have some success early on and then spend the next 30 years replaying those same songs again and again seems a bit self-defeating really. But there is a debt to do it a bit, you know, the, the, the main songs. And so as a rule when I play live, I actually don't do that much old stuff. I do some, but not that much. So the new tour that we're doing is has a lot more old stuff in it because it's to do with this you know, best of DVD that's coming out. 
Um, but it's not something I do very often. It, it's not something I'm going to do again for quite a few years because I think when you do it occasionally, it makes sense and it's good fun. If you do it too much, it becomes nostalgic and I'm, I have no interest in that whatsoever. And if I come along to a, a Gary Newman gig, am I going to stand out like a sore thumb? Has everyone got eyeliner and uh, jet black hair? <laughs> no. Are there people who dress up? I bet there are. A bit. Yeah, a bit. It's not the way it was. You know, not quite as bad as it used because to be. Because back bad, in the day, way to put it, but not as much of it as it used because to. Because then it would have been what wall-to-wall lookalikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that though. It's good fun. I don't, I, I'm happy that they're still there. To be honest, whether you wear makeup or not doesn't really bother me. And you, so you don't like the nostalgic thing. I mean, there is a lot of '80s nostalgia around. Yeah. There's here and now tours, and there's all sorts of bad. Oh, you make yeah. a face at that. Uh, it's like the kiss of death to me. Really, it's like admitting you've got nothing new to offer. You know, look at me, let's all go and remember yesteryear and what we did when we were kids. Hate it, hate it. Don't want to get involved in any of that stuff. Really? Yeah, hate it. But people have to make a living. Oh, good for them. I st not good for me, that's all. If they want to do it, I'll, I'll, you know, good luck to them. If that's how your career unfolds and you're happy with that, then I wish them well, I really do. Some of the people that do that are actually friends of mine. But for me, I would <laughs> rather eat worms. You know, I just wouldn't want to do it. I'm sure there are people who'd like to see you doing that. <laughs> yeah, probably. Gary Newman eats worms. Uh, what's your <laughs> um, just, just on the 80s nostalgia thing, you mentioned with people who are friends of yours. Um, Duran Duran playing, the great 80s group, yeah. around the same time as you, mm -hmm. playing at this Olympics f um, festival, music festival, as representatives yeah. of England. What do you think about that? Good for them. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> no, really, truly. Yes. You're not a great fan of. Duran Duran. No, I love Duran Duran. Do you? Yeah, I, saw, I know, know them vaguely. Some, anyway, vaguely. So, yeah, no, I've got no criticism of anyone doing what they want with their career. But mine has its own path, and I. And you're playing your 600th gig. carefully. 600th gig. Yeah, I'm surprised. I thought it was more than that, actually. It feels like 6,000. <laughs> in a nice way. Yeah, in a really yeah, nice in way. In a good way. 600, I was quite a bit disappointed. We'll get them to check the figures. Maybe it's more. No, I'm sure it's true. It's the phone that I should put that together is very anarchy about such things. But I'm sure he knows. Lovely to see you here this morning. Thank you. Thank you and I know much. you had a very late night, so thank you for getting yeah, up for us. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you. Celebrating with six music and with good reason. Lovely to see you. The DVD, Gary Newman, music, mach no, machine music, is out on the 11th of June. The tour starts on Tuesday. Joey Tempest from the band Europe will be here in just a moment. Making new music. Making yes, new music. doing new stuff. Uh, we'll speak to him in just a moment. First, though, last look at what's happening where you are. See you in a moment. <laughs>